surgery was $16,500 cash up front on the barrel. And when they decided to start raising the money, I didn't know one thing about it till they already had $4,000 raised. I said to my husband, if they love me that much mm -hmm. to do that for me, then I have to do something myself. And I made a vow to God one year ago, last week, to not eat sugar, desserts, cakes, cookies, pies, any of that stuff. Now, do y'all know I was a sweetaholic? <laughs> I mean, if it was a Krispy Kreme donut, it, and the light didn't have to be flashing for me. It was like <laughs> drive by and the car would pull in. <laughs> I mean, that's how much I love sweets. And if they were in the house, I ate them. My husband said, I can't eat that. It's too rich for me. No. It didn't matter how sweet, how rich it was for me. I loved it. The richer, the better. I could eat it all. All day long, it didn't bother me. But I made a vow to God that I would not eat sweets, and I have kept that vow. Has it been easy? No, it hasn't been easy. There have been times at my grandson's graduation, I would walk in the kitchen, they had this big party for him, and Donna had two big cakes, that's my daughter, she had two big graduation cakes there, and she had this chocolate pop fountain, and all these strawberries, and this chocolate, and that chocolate was there. <laughs> Just stick your tongue out there and drink it. <laughs> and every time I would walk past that cake, it was saying, eat me, eat me, eat me. On one side, it was eat me, eat me. And on the other side, God was having this big stop sign. He was saying, stop, you can't have it, you can't have it, you can't have it. I'm glad God's greater than we are. Greater is he that's within you yeah. than your own self. Yeah. But he will give you the grace. I had to do something. I had to get up, get busy in doing something. I had to put my mind to pure worship. And then healing comes one step at a time. Am I where I want to be? No. I still want to lose another 132 pounds. But am I better than I was yesterday? Yeah. I take each, each day, just one step at a time. And it's not just my weight that's been a problem. I've gone through some terrible, terrible hurts in my life. But you know what? The devil can wipe your memory right out. I mean, not the devil. But please, the devil will wipe it out. He'll bring it up. He'll sit right here on your shoulder and say, Hey, you remember? No, God can wipe your memory right out. I was in a camp meeting one time, and I had just prayed this prayer. God, please erase my memory of the things that are hurting me. And I had no more prayed that prayer in my head, not speaking it out for anyone to hear, than the speaker's wife got up and said, there's someone here tonight who wants to have their memories erased. Mm -hmm. That was God speaking to me to let me know he heard my prayer and he mm -hmm. was doing that. He was helping me. He can help you through whatever you're going through. Mm -hmm. We may not be where we want to be, but we're on our way. Amen. We're going by faith. We are going to be like the Israelites, and we are going to take one step. We're going to put our feet on the Jordan. The Jordan was a big river, and it was unpassable, and it looked like an impossible situation. But when they put their feet at the edge of the river, the Bible says that the waters parted. Mm -hmm. Now, not only did they part, they went across. Be not something you need to hear. We have to keep our eye on the goal, and we may have to swim mm -hmm. one step at a time. That means when we step out in the Jordan, if we got to swim, God's going to help us swim. Mm -hmm.